Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Profile Manager and we're going to look specifically at the Profile Manager interface. Now if you're just viewing this video right now, this is a part of a series that I'm doing on Profile Manager and so you may want to go back and look at some of the earlier versions uh, where I talk about how to set up Profile Manager, how to get this interface here going and what each of these different uh, settings mean and then how to get your devices enrolled in Profile Manager and so you may want to go back and take a look at those. So what we're going to do uh, today though is we're going to take a look at some of the basic settings that are uh, included in the users and groups area and how to set certain restrictions so that you can manage uh, what profiles are allowed, who can add what, uh, and all of that kind of thing. So uh, basically uh, what we're going to do is go to the actual um, profile manager itself. Now you can get there within profile manager by clicking on this little uh, link right here. Uh, I've already got it uh, pulled up so let me just pull up a copy here for you. And so here I am inside profile manager. Now when you launch it for the first time it is going to ask you to log in and so you'll have to log in with your credentials. Uh, but like I said I've already done that. And so this is the interface. Now, uh, you notice here on the side, we've got our, our library of things. Uh, in the middle here, we have the specifics for whichever area you've chosen. So in this case, we've chosen users. And so we're looking at uh, one of our contacts. Uh, I just did a search to kind of narrow it down just to this one. Uh, all your contacts will show here if you've got multiples. And then you have the specifics for that particular contact or group or device over here on the side. And so uh, what we're going to do is let's take a look at some of this uh, information here on the side and uh, let's just take a look at this about area. Now inside the about area here you'll notice we've got uh, tabs for general, uh, restrictions, and what groups this particular individual is in. Now one of the new additions to Maverick server is this restrictions area uh, where it gives you a little, uh, a little bit more fine-tuned uh, options here so that you can basically set up how you want your profiles uh, to be used by your specific users and by your specific groups. And so let's start by talking about these restrictions and seeing how these work so that you can get a feel for that since it is a, a new setting within uh, Maverick server. Now you'll notice that here I am on a user and on the restrictions, you notice that it's all grayed out, uh, but it's showing me certain uh, restrictions that are uh, checked on here, things that uh, they're allowed to do uh, here. And then uh, you can see I, have, I can actually uh, only change this one right here because everything else is, is kind of out there. It's, it's all grayed out. I can't do anything with it. Uh, that's because there are groups uh, that are, have uh, settings on them that preempt uh, the individual settings. So basically how this works is that if a user is in a group, whatever those group settings are for these restrictions, those settings are the things that apply. And so because all of these things are checked in a group that this individual's in, it won't contradict that. It won't let you come in here and then change it uh, without first changing it within the group itself. Okay, so that's how Profile Manager has it set up so that you don't make those mistakes. So uh, you can learn about restrictions just by uh, clicking on this little uh, arrow here, and that'll bring you the uh, help guide that will give you details on what each of these means. But uh, what I want to do is just show you uh, how that works by taking a look at groups. So we're going to go over and look at groups, but I just wanted to show you in the individual area here that you had to use the groups to manage uh, the details here. Um, so let's go over and take a look at that. We're going to go over to groups. And so you can see I've got my various groups here. I've got a, a group for everyone, I've got a group for kids, and I've got a work group here. And it tells me, you know, how many groups it is, how many users are in those groups. And so it gives me uh, that layout. Now, each and every one of these groups that I set up, uh, I set up inside, a profile, uh, inside my uh, server. So let me just pop this down for a minute. Uh, the groups are actually found in this group area here. And you can see there's my work group and there's my kids group. Now, the groups for everyone is just a general general setting for uh, you know everyone that you've got uh, but you'll notice that these two things are the groups that show up so let's just pull that back up Actually, let me just put this on profile manager here let's pull this back up and so there we go there's our kids group and there's our work group and then this is just sort of everyone all users now you'll notice that uh, there are various settings here and the one that uh, is sort of you can see here I've got some open stuff here that uh, isn't wasn't restricted by my other user that I showed you before. All these things were checked. 
So you might be saying, well, wait a minute, I thought you said that that would work that way. Well, if you come down to work group uh, down here, you'll notice that the work group has these things checked. And so that's why uh, those are checked. It's a summary of all of these different groups. Notice that here I've got all of these checked, just like I had over on my uh, user uh, that I had before. And if you look at these all users, you can see this allow device enrollment and unenrollment is checked on here uh, as well. And so because, you know, one of the users has that, it's checked there. So that's why all these different ones were checked when we saw the user that was over there. So again, it, it, it's sort of a summary of all the restrictions. So let's talk about what these restrictions mean. Now, the first one here, uh, restriction, is whether or not you'll allow access to the My Devices portal. And so you may have people that you don't want to go and enroll themselves. And so you don't want them to go to your actually go to the My Devices portal and enroll a device because you want to manage that yourself. So if I uncheck this, that means basically that that device's portal, when someone goes to put this in and they try to log in with their credentials, it's going to tell them, sorry, no access, you can't get in. And so that's what that is. And that basically, if I uncheck that, then all of these basic uh, settings here, because they're underneath that, go away. So you can see if I uncheck it, then it grays all these out because these are no longer available. Uh, then you would have you would just uncheck that and then click check save down here. I'm just going to click revert because I don't want to do that right now. Uh, now I can I can also fine tune under here. So I might let them get into the portal, but I can fine tune the options. Uh, I can allow uh, configuration profile downloads, and so again that's where we um, actually have uh, the settings for everyone that we had set up before. Again, if I just uh, lower this here for a second, uh, if you remember in here we've got uh, you know we've got the default uh, settings for everyone profile and that's where it automatically will go in and set up set up things like calendar contacts VPN uh, kind of like we did in the previous uh, screencast and so what I can do if I want to is I can say look I don't want uh, people downloading those configuration uh, profiles and so if I if I don't do that then those profiles will disappear from the other screen in fact let me show you uh, give you a, just a feel for what that looks like I'm gonna go over to uh, the actual my devices screen and I'm going to uh, log in as one of my users and show you what this looks like so you can see what it looks like before and after so let's come over here to this area and let me just log in as one of my users okay here I am logged in uh, as one of my users and so basically I'm on this particular Mac that isn't enrolled and so I could enroll and go through that process uh, now notice on the profiles I've got the settings for everyone profile up there and I've got the trust profile uh, just like you've seen before so now what I'm gonna do now that you've seen this we're gonna go back into profile manager and I'm going to remove the ability for this to uh, be downloaded by this user and then you'll see uh, how that shows up in the my devices area so what I'm gonna do is let's go over to profile manager and take a look at that okay so here we are back on profile manager so what we're gonna do is just uh, download this uh, uncheck this allow configuration profile downloads we're gonna say save and so basically I've saved that so now that isn't allowed now for the work group you're not allowed to download that profile and so now we're gonna go back into the user uh, on the my devices and log in so I've got to kinda of switch in and out of this so I'm gonna kinda of cut this down to make it a little faster but I wanna show you the difference so you can see what that looks like okay so I re-logged in so here I am logged in as the other user if we go over to the profiles now you notice that profiles gone it's no longer available so as you can see um, what happens is profile manager does allow you to customize this and set certain restrictions so things show or don't show so that you can control the entire um, process here and that's really what these restrictions do so let's go back into profile manager now and let's just take a look at some of those other restrictions to get an idea for how those work okay so now that we're back into profile manager uh, not only can I restrict uh, whether I allow them to download the profile uh, I can also choose whether to allow them to enroll a device or not and so I can just say yes and if I want to do that I can save that um, I can put this back on and just uh, click save and then everything's good uh, I can also choose whether to allow device lock so that's allowing them to actually lock the devices that they've got uh, within profile manager uh, itself uh, you know when they go into their actual my devices screen uh, whether they can actually lock the device uh, whether they can um, uh, whether to allow the device passcode to be cleared uh, I can decide whether to have that cleared or not or keep that on there uh, or whether to allow them to be able to wipe the device or not and so um, I'm gonna go back into profile manager and show you where these things are and I can show you that you can turn those on and off 
Uh, the other thing is I can allow device enrollment during the setup assistant. Now, what this is for is this is if you've got uh, a device that you have purchased and already put profile a profile on there. You've purchased it through Apple and you've enrolled the device into your profile manager setup. And usually this is for enterprise and business. Uh, you can actually have the device enrollment happen in the setup uh, of the device the first time they turn it on. And so this works for uh, mainly for iOS devices and those kinds of things. But it allows you just to have that happen during the setup assistant assistant or not. And you can choose whether you want to allow that or not. And then uh, the other thing you can do is restrict enrollment to placeholder devices. And I want to show you what that looks like as well. But first, let's just uh, go and let me show you where these things are located inside my devices. So you can see where you would turn those on or off. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here I am over on uh, my devices screen where devices have been enrolled. And so basically what I can do is turn all of these on or off. The ability to lock uh, the actual device, the ability to wipe it, or the ability to clear the passcode. So that's basically what those settings are referring to. I just wanted to show you exactly where those were located. So now we'll go back into Profile Manager here. And now where we have this, says it says Restrict Enrollment to Placeholder Devices. That is where uh, you can uh, uh, it allows you to actually limit what devices get enrolled in your system. So what you would do is ahead of time, you would set up a device that's a placeholder for a device that one of your users has, and then they can actually enroll that device. But if they try to enroll with a device that you didn't create a placeholder for, then they won't be able to enroll that device. So let's take a look at how do you create a placeholder. Uh, you would basically just come over here to your devices. Uh, yeah, let's save those changes. And here we are in some of the devices that I've already got set up. So you come in here to your devices, and you would just click the plus right here, and you would say add placeholder. Now you can also import one if you want to, but we'd say add one. And then basically you just tell it what device type you want, whether it's uh, iOS or OS X or an Apple TV. So you can actually set up an Apple TV ahead of time as well. Uh, you put a name on the device, and so you know name it iPhone or whatever. And then you can do it by serial number, UDID, IMEI, you know, all of these. You can choose which one you want to use. You've got to have at least one of them that you put in there so that server knows that, hey, when this device comes on, I want to enroll this device and put it with the setup that's been put together for this particular device. So you would actually set that placeholder up, and then you can restrict users to only be able to enroll if they're using a device that you've set a placeholder for. Otherwise, they can't enroll it. And so it's great in business uh, because it you know allows you to keep people from uh, installing devices that you don't want on your system. Uh, that way, it is only work devices that you control. So I'm just going to cancel that, and let's go back in here to groups and back to this. Okay, so that just gives you an idea of how those restrictions work. And so that's how you would set those up. Now, let's go ahead and tour through some of these other uh, options here. We've got settings uh, that are in here for this group. You've got uh, settings for the work group itself that you can edit. And I'm going to cover that in another screencast in detail on how to edit those. Uh, you also have enrollment settings. And so you can actually send an allow activation lock command uh, after the device is enrolled. Now, these are for supervised devices, so devices that you are managing, uh, not devices people are bringing. And so those would be devices, again, that you've uh, pre-enrolled. And you can then allow uh, for the activation lock command to happen or not, where they've got to set, uh, set that lock before they can actually erase and reinstall a system. So that if someone uh, who had a device that you're supervising and managing wanted to sort of erase their device and start over, uh, there's an activation lock uh, key that they've got to put in to allow that to happen. And if they don't know the key, then they can't erase it. And so that, again, it keeps you from having maybe employees or students take a device and uh, want to keep it for themselves. So they try to erase it and then reinstall everything on it and remove all your profiles. So it just adds a safety for that. And so you can actually check that to send it. And you can say only send the command uh, if the activation lock bypass code has been obtained. So one way or the other, that's how you would do that. So that's what that's for. Uh, we also have apps, and so what you can do is actually add uh, applications uh, to a work group, uh, to a device, or to users. And so there's apps up here. I'm going to talk about how to add uh, applications later, but just wanted to let you know that that tab was there. Uh, you have members of the group, and so here is a list of all of the different members that we've got in this particular group. Uh, and then activity, and this would show any activity of uh, uh, information that's been pushed back or forth uh, to your uh, groups or the people in your groups or to individual users. And so that's how that works. Uh, down here, you've also got a uh, little setting gear where you can uh, lock, clear passcode, wipe, update info, allow activation lock, or clear the activation lock. So you've got that setting down there as well. So let's go back into uh, our users here. 
Okay, so here we are back in the users. And so just to show you the little bit of the difference here, you've got the groups that the user's in. So it shows you those groups. You can get to them quickly. Uh, you've also got, again, there's your settings for the user, very, same, the, very similar to the groups, apps, the devices that they have uh, enrolled to them, and then again, activity. Let's go back to about. So we've got the option again down here to do the exact same things with this. Uh, and then if you uh, click the plus here, you can actually add devices to the particular user. And so if I just click on add devices, uh, I get this drop down here that allows me to associate uh, these devices with this particular user. And all I would do is click add and it would then add it in this uh, field right here. Or I could actually click uh, add all and it would set them up with the devices and associate them with that particular user. I'm just going to click done because I don't want to do that. So that gives you an idea of some of the basics of uh, the settings and setup for users and groups as well as uh, restrictions and how to, be, how to start to restrict uh, some of the things that happens with the devices. Again, this is a really great ad. It's something that has been asked for for quite a while from Apple uh, with Profile Manager, and it's great to see it added in this one. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.